So I just got changed in uh, Sainsbury's toilets, the glamour of it, and um, I barely fit in the car right now because of my hair and my hat, and my hat I made last night, um, sort of a, a quick, uh, desperately need a Victorian hat job. Um, so we are now off to Rutland Water. I am wearing a summer dress of the early 1880s. It shows just the beginnings of a new fashionable bustle which was to dominate later in the decade. The dress also shows the influence of the aesthetic movement in the simplicity of its design and the use of a dainty floral print fabric. The unusual St Matthew's Chapel in Normanton was built on the site of a 14th century church in the late 1820s by architect Thomas Cundy the Younger. It's beautiful here today. And these waters so wonderful calm today. It's completely flat and still and the bright sun. It's stunning. In the 1970s, the area was due to be flooded to make the reservoir now known as Rutland Water. As the floor of the church was below the intended water level, it was decided that it would have to be demolished. However, thanks to a local campaign, a compromise was reached and instead the floor was raised and a causeway built. Not everywhere was so lucky. The hamlet of Nether Hambleton was not saved and now rests beneath the water. Rutland Water was built as a drinking water reservoir but is now also an important nature reserve and is the only breeding site for ospreys in central England. February weather in the UK is not usually this nice. It is usually one of our most wintry months. In fact, it was recorded in some places as the warmest winter day since records began.
honestly, why are you filming me? Thank <laughs> you.